All right, it's time to make some changes around here. I'm sure you all are tired of this dark of a cave in an office with the echoing in here. So we're gonna do a DIY project of updating this studio. So just got a fresh batch of free lumber, thanks to my dad. And uh, as you all know me, I like, I'm more of a DIY kind of guy and I'd rather do my own projects than spend any money on buying lumber and paying somebody else doing the stuff. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through the process. If you're looking to reuse the trim and the baseboards, then I found that using a putty knife and a crowbar is the best method. Otherwise, you can skip the following steps and you can just tear it all out and start with uh, new trim and baseboards. But I was trying to save some money and ended up uh, not breaking any of the baseboards and everything worked out perfect. So I used a putty knife to cut some of the silicone that was on a, that's sealing the baseboard to the wall and uh, just slightly pry it off and then use the crowbar and pry it off even more and then you just pull out the nails. All right, welcome back. This is the end of day one. I was a little optimistic. I was, I was thinking I was gonna get to do two of these rooms like that, but I was trying to make it perfect and took my time. So it's gonna be, gonna take at least the two to three days to finish this project. So tomorrow I'm gonna paint this wall and uh, we'll see the finished result. So I hope you're liking what you see right now and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So you're probably wondering how I mounted the boards to the wall. I'm sorry, I'm a one-man operation. It was kind of hard to film and do this at the same time. So I started off on top and worked my way down. I used uh, regular construction glue to glue the board to the wall and then used uh, two inch 16 gauge finishing nails and uh, nailed them to the wall. I found that you starting on top and working your way down is the best method because when you walk into the room, you're gonna see the top board first. So you want it to make it look uh, straight and perfect. All right, welcome back everyone. In case you haven't been following my Instagram stories, you saw that I posted a finished project. And then as you can see in the background over here, it's all sanded in different spots again. So if any of you are married, you know that you might do something you think is perfect and then your wife comes in and she doesn't like it. So wife and I had a miscommunication of what we wanted and she wanted completely uh, solid wall she didn't want any uh she didn't want the rustic look and that's what i was going for so uh pretty much i had to fill all the seams and all the nail holes just to make it make it look nice and smooth and honestly i'm glad she did because it, because it actually looks a lot nicer so if any of you are going to do this project this is was a lifesaver it's called plastic wood right here and it's just a wood filler it's white in color and pretty much is an easy project and uh, as you will see later on after I repaint this all over again it's going to be a nice uh, finished clean looking wall so I'll get back to my project and we'll see you when I'm done with this. Hi right, everyone so as you can see behind me the wall is finally finished four days later five coats of paints later as well I know the first, uh, it was supposed to have been just a quick two day project, but you know, as like I said before, if you're married, you know, your wife might uh, come up with some better ideas. So you gotta make things perfect. So decided to redo this a little bit and I learned something from it as well. Even though I've done these type of walls before, but I've never used uh, recycled wood. Like this wood came from old uh, shipping crates. So I just picked out the most perfect uh, boards and all those boards are tongue and groove so I made this job a lot easier. So lessons learned and if, you, if you're going for that perfect clean look as you can see behind me, all the seams are sealed off. I just, uh, just make sure that you apply that wood sealer and just put some on and just use your finger run through there and just wipe it off with a rag and it gives it a perfect seal. You can also use a uh, a silicone 
and I just used the silicone to touch up on the, uh, today because I still saw some of the cracks and I ran out of the wood filler. So I used the same concept, just used the paintable uh, silicone. So I did that as well. And also if you wanted the boards to be completely flat, just to make sure you're applying glue to the back of the boards. It doesn't have to be a ton of glue, just enough to where it will glue to the, to the wall. And also make sure that you're marking the studs on the wall. The, your standard studs are 16 inches apart inside the residential buildings. So I measured it out and I double checked all the, the stud width with the, with the stud finder. And all I did just drew a straight line for every stud. And that way I could just put the nails in the stud. That way everything uh, was completely flush. So, uh, yeah, I hope uh, you all like these type of videos. Um, the, definitely this helped out with the noise level in here a little bit, but it's still a work in progress. Uh, you'll see right now, that's, that's my next project. I'll let you guess what it is. Uh, all this furniture in the background, it's all gonna go. Um, it's not, it doesn't match this office anymore. Plus, why would I cover this nice wall up uh, with this old furniture now? I'm gonna open this up more and I still got some more projects in a way to complete this, uh, this office slash YouTube studio. So, just wanna make it perfect. So, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and uh, let us know in the comments um, what else uh, you're interested in and if you got any questions. Uh, I'm not a professional. I just like doing everything by myself because I don't have a ton of money and I just and plus I like learning new things as well. Like I've said on my uh, Instagram, uh, I like being an uh, expert in some and master of none and uh, pretty much been following that lesson uh, my entire life. So we'll see you guys on the next one.